when you apply for a job and you call for an interview there are various questions that are asked and the better prepared you are the more successful your interview would be well this session would be little different because not only the most common interview questions and answers we are going to discuss but we also explain you that what exactly happens so before starting the session hello friends welcome to auto study way to change the learning of automobile so everybody knows that time is much more important than anything else in this universe exactly the same thing with our first question that is how timing belt works you know timing belt rest on the crankshaft pulley and either one or two camshaft pulley they are all aligned through timing belt and the closing and opening of engine valves are controlled by camshaft to let in air and fuel mixture or exhaust gas and if you do not have a timing belt or damaged timing it will directly affect the timing of opening and closing of engine valves so friends this is the reason it is called timing belt and if not in a good condition it will damage your engine i hope now you could have understood the working of timing belt and the importance of time well let's move on to our next question do you know about the difference between crankshaft and camshaft let us understand the crankshaft first so friends the crankshaft is linked to the pistons by the connecting rods and the force produced by the air fuel mixture is transmitted to the crankshaft and also it is converted to rotary motion as the crankshaft turns now if you move on to the camshaft so it controls the intake and exhaust valves and it is linked with crankshaft either by timing chain or belt and it turns one rotation for each two rotations of the crankshaft for each valve it operates the cam opens each valve at the correct time to draw air fuel mixture or expel the exhaust gas so friends this is all about crankshaft and camshaft if you want to know more about these two and other engine components you can go through our video engine components whose link is given in the description box now let's move on to the next question do you know about the components of an alternator and how it works so friends an alternator consists of the stator rotor and copper wiring and the rotor and stator are belt driven magnets encased in a copper wiring which creates a magnetic field and the belt is connected with engine so when the engine starts it rotates the rotor and generates a magnetic field and stator converts this magnetic field into voltage that flows to the diode and the diode assembly converts the ac electricity to dc and at the end which is used by the car battery so friends this is all about the components of an alternator and their working now let's move on to the next question how can you judge whether the problem is due to alternator and not due to battery so friends to judge the problem for an alternator there are few steps you can try firstly you can run your car and unplug the positive connection of the battery if the car stops then it is more likely there is a problem with the alternator another way of checking alternator is by checking interior lights usually an alternator charges your car battery when the car is on if the interior lights come on brightly and fades away slowly then it indicates that the alternator cannot keep a charge when the car is running then it means there is a problem with the alternator now the third step you can try you can also check by racing your car with headlights on if the light brighten up when you race the car and lose power when you slow it down then also it indicates the problem with the alternator so friends these are the few steps you can try to judge the problem for an alternator now let's move on to the next and the last question of this session friends do you know about the important components of engine lubrication system friends the first component of engine lubrication system includes the oil pan friends it is a container where engine oil settles down when your car is not running next component is pickup tube when the engine starts oil gets sucked up through pickup tube and it is also called strainer now the next component is the oil pump the pump will help to slide up oil into the tube against the gravity next is the pressure relief valve it relieves the pressure on oil next component is the oil filter it removes dirt and debris from the oil next component is the spurt hole and galleries these are the holes in the crankshaft or other parts of the engine through which oil streams and make them lubricated now the last component is 
सम वेन द ल्यूब्रिकेशन जॉब इज डन इट विल गो बैक अगेन इन टू द ऑयल पैन और सम सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंट कम्पोनेट ऑफ इंडियन ल्यूब्रिकेशन सिस्टम सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दीज क्वेश्चन प्लीज टेल अस इन आर कमेंट बॉक्स सेक्शन Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel so that I'll get motivated for making more such learning videos.